What's going on everybody? Happy Friday here in beautiful downtown Boynton Beach. I am outside one of my favorite logos, one of my favorite places, Aloha Bakery and Cafe. A lot of people forget that this place is an amazing place for in-house dining. They've got incredible Hawaiian foods. They don't just do cupcakes and cakes, although they do those things amazingly. They've got excellent gourmet coffees. They've got excellent food. You're gonna see some great Hawaiian food. Awesome stuff. Let's go check this place out. This is actually right off of Gateway and Congress. So Gateway and Congress in the Renaissance Center right next to the AT&T. And right over by, what is it, Bo no, Lemongrass. And so just so you guys see, this is all the outdoor seating they have. They have plenty of outdoor seating. Uh, they are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is a peek at their menu. And somebody just walked in, so we don't want to crowd them up too fast. But this is a great place. If you guys are looking for awesome local food, these guys are awesome. They've got some awesome stuff going on. I've said awesome way too many times, but we're going to come in here. What's going on, guys? How are you? Aloha. Aloha. This is Dave and Nicole. How are you guys? Aloha. Aloha Bakery and Cafe. It is a cafe as well. You guys put out amazing food. Thank you. Uh, so tell us about this place. Tell us what you guys been doing, and uh, let's go from there. All right. So Aloha Bakery Cafe, we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we're kind of known for a lot of our desserts, of course. Uh, but we make everything here uh, from scratch. Uh, my husband and I have been doing this for many decades and uh, we're excited to be here and kind of show you a little bit of what we have going on here. How long have you guys been in this location? Uh, December 19th is when we opened up just wow. before the pandemic. So three months you basically had, you were getting your feet under yeah. you and then all of a sudden ba-boom. Yes. And then ba-boom. So, um, so it was a little bit of a struggle but um, we're staying above Roller water. Coaster, right? yeah, and as sure. you can see, I, so they, you, they've got ice cream going in here now. Uh, you guys, what I love about what you're doing is you haven't stopped innovating. You guys are not taking this lying down. You're doing whatever you can. You guys are fighting. I love that spirit. The, the stuff that you put out now, let, let, I mean, it's just so beautiful. It really is. Talk about some of these things. So I know you guys do custom orders too, right? Yeah, we do custom cakes. Baby showers, cakes. wedding cakes. Baby showers, wedding cakes. Um, some of the customers, some of these flavors are all got developed from our customers that came in and our line just kept on expanding. We, we hold about 200 cupcakes a day so that we can accommodate everybody. And there's about 16 different flavors and it's always in a rotation. So you, awesome stuff. So yeah. I just want everybody to see this because the artistry that goes behind this. What time do you guys start cooking in the morning? My goodness. About 2 a.m., 3 a.m. <laughs> 2 a.m., wow. Yeah. So this so, is incredible, yeah, so just the artistry. Uh -huh. We've got real good cream, and we do our, our coconut custard is very popular. Uh, our Gloria has, has our ganaches at the center. We do platters for mini pastries as well. Uh, and then, of course, our custom cakes, as John was mentioning. We do uh, custom cakes uh, for everyone. Uh, so if well. you have a wedding coming up, bar mitzvah, whatever it may be, these guys are the people to see. They'll take care of you. Uh, I, I, I always see people posting all the time about, look at this amazing cake that, that, that Dave made for me. You, you put a lot of love and a lot of passion in everything that you do. Uh, so tell us about some more. You got cannolis over here. Yeah. This is a Hawaiian dessert, right? Yeah, so this is the uh, jalapia. So we have the tarp here. Yeah, that was uh, Yep, which is delicious. This one is our pita colada with fresh pineapple parfaits. Uh, we do all of our bread puddings, uh, make all of our breads for them. So we've got original chocolate chip, coconut. So you make an original, a chocolate chip, and, and a coconut bread pudding. Wow. Yeah. It's always, on, always in stock. Oh, always, always making those uh, different mousses. If you would have came, if you would have came in the morning, we do donuts on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We started going back into some of our wholesale and uh, helping out catering companies, hotels are calling back up now. So do you find like, that's a great question? Do you find like things are starting to start up again? Yeah. I was just saying this morning, Darden actually reported better numbers year over year. Yeah. And Darden's kind of a barometer for their restaurant business in general. But, uh, you know, they're finding that things are starting to come back. I know we just went on vacation. Yeah. And uh, it, it seems like things are slowly but surely starting to come back. So that's great because I know catering is a big part of your it's business. A, we have a wedding cake going out this, I mean, our first one in a very long time over a year. We're actually doing a, a, a four-tier wedding cake going out tomorrow. That's awesome. And um, we'll take it anywhere from Stewart all the way down to Miami. So, so Stewart to Miami, yeah. you guys will deliver. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Stewart. And people want to get a hold of you. How would they get a hold of you? Phone number? Uh, yeah, you can hit us up on 
444. Excellent. Or alohabakeryandcafe.com. Um, check us out. Bakery and Cafe. Bakery and Cafe.com. Gotcha. So yeah. alohabakeryandcafe.com. There you go. So you guys put lots of classic uh, stuff out here tarts, yeah, uh, cookies. Cookies by the pound. We have breakfast, assorted breakfast pastries every morning. Uh, this is towards the end of the the shift uh, at nighttime now, things are starting to run out. So you get, and we, when I came in, your coffee machine was getting fixed because that thing's a beast, right? Yeah. yeah. You're telling me that thing turns out a lot of gourmet coffees. You guys are not just serving basic coffees. You guys got some really good stuff going Ca on. Cappuccinos, macchiatos, uh, you name it, pretty much cafe con leche. Uh, it's, it's nice espresso. Awesome stuff. So this is new. This is new. Can you tell us a little bit about this and how this came about? What made you guys decide to do that? Sure. Well, we had a few customers ask for ice cream, so we thought, sure, why not? You know, we're doing cake, so why not have the ice cream? So um, we teamed up with the Ice Cream Club. Um, and uh, we're Ice Cream Club is local, right? It is local. So they're right here off of Gateway along with us. They have a big commissary, and uh, so we've been serving their ice cream. And uh, we're next, we're bringing out the milkshakes. We also do the um, acai bowls as well with the fresh fruit for more morning time, granola, that type of thing. So we're definitely uh, uh, here to, you know, work with the community. Awesome stuff. Yeah, you're doing a few, they're doing a few collaborations right now. Uh, I don't want to get too far into it, but Trust me, they're doing collaborations with rest restaurants right now. Basically, and that's one thing that I love we were talking about, is that spirit of aloha, basically, right? Where yeah. people are starting to work with each other. If anything positive comes out of this COVID, I think one of the things is that restaurants are not looking at it as competition anymore, but really starting to really feel the family relationship. You know, we all work incredible hours, 60, 80 hours a week. I'm sure if you're here at 2 in the morning until 2 at night, basically you live here. Uh, but but I think there's a real spirit of camaraderie that's coming out of here between all the restaurants. So I love to hear when restaurants are working with other restaurants. It's really good stuff. So you guys got some cones going back here, and uh, you got a Hawaiian fruit cup. That looks pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah, that What's one is up? pretty popular actually. Um, and of course our uh, pecan one, our watermelon sorbet, and we also do gluten-free desserts as well. So we always carry our uh, flourless chocolate cake and mini pastries as well as our um, almond tarts, because we have a big Great clientele that's, that's gluten-free. You know, so you got stuff for Passover and all absolutely. the holidays? It's kosher product. We're not a kosher bakery, but there are kosher products that come in. Okay. Um, just so that we do do a line of macarons. I know we're Aloha, but I have a big background of being in the industry for so long with all kinds of bakery items, from French baking, um, Italian, um, Jewish line, everything. So where did you gain all this experience from? What, what is your resume, if I can ask? So, basically, um, I'm an executive pastry chef by trade, and came down to South Florida in 96, worked with the Ritz-Carlton, worked with the Boca West Country Club, Frenchman's Creek Country Club. Uh, we've had our own restaurants for the last 20 years now. A few decades. So, but he went to Johnson Wales University. And when I first wow. met him 24 years ago, I said, oh, you know, my parents said, what does he do? I said, he said he studied the art of sugar. And I had no idea what that <laughs> meant uh, until I went to his first competition in Las Vegas. And he's doing like eight foot sugar show pieces. And I was like, wow, there's a whole art to this. So, there really so. is. Oh, there's, what is it, the molecular structure? And, oh. yeah. So you got some of that gastronomy going on. Like chef, I forget the chef's name. What's, it, uh, <laughs> well, what's the guy? Do you guys know? Uh, the Latin guy. I'm trying to remember his name. He's, he's got a car. He works with the gastronomy. He does a lot of his oh, crazy right, right, stuff. Right. Andres. An Andres. Yes, Andres. Yeah, yeah, that guy. First name. I can't think of his last absolutely. name. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. There's definitely a definitely an art yeah, to it all. They took us out for dinner, though. Yeah. No, that's what I want to get into because one of the things I love about this place and one of the best things about it is you guys do amazing food, like amazing lunch and amazing dinners. I went to Hawaii. My family lived in Hawaii for a while, and I went down there. And the food you're putting out rivals any of the stuff I've had in Hawaii. And you've cooked a couple of dishes, so let's go check them out. So these are great looking dishes. What do we got here? So, so over here you have your chicken long rice, which is a staple in Hawaii. Um, so it's a rice noodle with uh, fresh scallions, chicken, and it has like a ginger broth to it. Uh, so a lot of people that have visited the islands, I'm from um, Oahu, so I'm from the island of Oahu, the North Shore. I'm half Hawaiian and half Polish, so we've incorporated some Hawaiian dishes here. The next one is, uh, of course, katsu chicken, which oh, um, with the panko breading and, and our uh, macaroni salad that we kind of make with the vinegar here. Uh, and then the loco moco. Uh, I have a lot of people, again, that visited the islands and uh, they remember eating that for breakfast. So we make our own gravy here, uh, you know, and it's our ground beef. Uh, but we have many other things on our menu, 
different salads, uh, different uh, crepes. We do sweet and savory crepes, uh, so that's been really popular. Um, and then on Thursdays, we always have our BOGO. So our BOGO, we feature uh, a dinner dish right. and uh, at, at 1595 and you get the second one for no price. So what? yes, you go online, you follow us on Facebook and you can see what meal that is or just give us a call that day and we'll let you know what it is. But we've done that since we've opened. Wow, this yeah. food's amazing. And if you know anything about Hawaiian food, you're gonna really see the authenticity and the beauty. I love that you put a little orchid on every dish. It's very beautiful. Uh, you guys really, you know, they say people eat with their eyes, and the food here really incorporates a lot of that eye, the visual appeal. Maybe you got it from being a pastry chef, yeah, but it really translates to how you plate right. everything everything that comes in here. I mean, this dish is absolutely gorgeous. What is this one again? Rice noodles? That's a chicken long rice. Wow. So it is a long rice noodle uh, with uh, rice underneath. It has scallions, ginger, chicken, uh, and it's, uh, it's... And this is the actual size, right? You didn't yeah. just make this no. big for TV, did this you? This is the size. Wow. <laughs> Of the and so chicken consats. I mean, that's got to be a 12 ounce portion or 10 ounce portion yeah, of chicken, chicken there. Chicken katsu, right? And then uh, the, the local mocha local. local. If you haven't tried this, you need to treat yourself because this is really good stuff. Yes, you're going to need to go to the gym afterwards. Yes, you're going to need to ride a bike or run or jog or whatever. But your tummy will thank you. Your taste buds will thank you. And you'll feel good about being alive after eating some of this great food. So this is Aloha. Tell everybody where you're located, what your hours of operation are. Sure, and, sure. Uh, so, uh, so we've just extended our hours. We're here Thursday through Saturday. Uh, we're, we open every day at 8 a.m., seven days a week. Thursday through Saturday, we stay open until 9.30 at night. 9.30. Uh, Sundays and Mondays, we close at 4 because uh, we usually have catered events uh, after that. And then uh, during the week, right now, we're at 6 o'clock because we do a lot of takeout. Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday. But, uh, you know, that will slowly extend as we see uh, the demand for that uh, at night. So, uh, so yeah. So, we appreciate everybody, uh, you know, coming out and, and supporting um, all of the restaurants. It's so appreciative. Yes. Anything else you want to say to the folks at home before we sign and off And I here? just want to say thanks to John and for the whole team with the uh, Social Distance Supper Club that, you know, they've been amazing. And, uh, and thank you guys. So that's it. You got the hours of operation. You get an idea of what these guys do. They do desserts. And everything they do is absolutely over the top. You know, sometimes you go to restaurants and they kind of try to add stuff on just so they don't lose customers. These guys are nailing everything. I'm telling you. From the, from the cupcakes to the cakes. If you're looking for something personal, if you're looking for you know just a good down-home meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, awesome coffees. I mean, really, there's no reason not to come here in the morning if you're in the Boynton Beach area. So check these guys out. They could use some love. They're doing good. They want to do better. They should do better. They're locally owned. They're locally operated. This guy's very talented. It's a husband-wife couple, right? Mahalo. <laughs> awesome. We'll see you guys.